Okay, let's do the plant contrasts in R. So we're going to use the well-known example from my last video. So I've already read in the data declared nationality as a factor and set Dutch as the reference category. Now before we can assign weights to the levels, we need to check the ordering of the levels. And you do that by using the levels function. So levels. And inside the parentheses, you put in the or, or the, the, the factor. Okay, so trade data and that would be nationality. And there you go. So the ordering is Dutch, Prussian, Swedish. Now remember that our first contrast compares Swedish and Prussian trading companies to Dutch trading companies. And we want to know whether there is a significant difference in the means. So we create a new object called contrast1. And this object will hold the... Um, We'll hold the weights, so contrast 1, put in C, open the parentheses. What we now put inside the parentheses are weights, and we separate the weights by commas. Now keep in mind that ordering is important. So the first weight would be the weight for Dutch, and that would be minus 2. The second one would be the weight for Prussian, that would be 1, and the third one would be one for uh, the weight for Swedish. Now the second contrast, so contrast 2, that would be, so the weights would be equal to 0 for Dutch because Dutch trading companies are not in our contrast. That would be 1 for Prussian trading companies and minus 1 for Swedish trade companies. Okay, great. Next we have to append our contrasts to um, our factors or to our factor. And you do that by the following command. So you put in contrasts, open the parentheses, then you put in the variable, so trade data is our data frame, and it'll be nationality, so this is our factor. Then you put in the uh, assignment operator, and then you use the command C bind, and then you put in your two contrasts. Okay, that we contrast one and contrast two. Contrast 2. There you go. So the C command over here, so this C command over there, basically creates a range of values while the C bind command over here, the C bind command, um, takes the two objects and appends them uh, as contrasts to the nationality by using this contrast function and the assignment operator. Okay, so this is the way you assign the contrasts to the uh, uh, factor of nationality. So let's have a look at our grouping variable nationality. So we put in trade data, it's the data frame and nationality and let's have a look at it. Now down there you can actually see the weights. So right over here. So here, take a look at that. So you can see the weights we have assigned to the different um, contrasts. And next we simply create our simple ANOVA again. So remember the simple ANOVA, so this is the same as before, it was trade AOV, assignment operator, AOV, open the parentheses, and the function was income, nationality, nationality, comma, and data, no, not, not nationality, it's nationality, and Data is equal to trade data, trade data, there you go. Okay, great. Now, if you take a look at the summary, you'll see that nothing has changed. So if we take a look at the summary of trade AOV, our simple ANOVA, let's have a look at it. You see actually that nothing has changed. So the F value is still 99.82. And we conclude that the means are in fact different. Now that's the same as before. However, we also plant two contrasts. So let's take a look at them. And you do that by putting in summary dot lm, open the parentheses, and you're gonna use trade AOV or ANOVA. Now this is different. So you simply append a dot lm after the summary command to take a look at the results from the contrasts. Now, the most important findings um, are the contrasts uh, T values. Now, the T values right over here, right? So you can see the T values. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, 
um, both contrasts, so contrast number one and contrast number two, both of them yield statistically significant differences. So this is very important. So contrast number one yields a statistically significant uh, difference in the means and contrast number two yields a st statistically um, significant difference in the means. Now the regression coefficients tell us about the differences. So you have the estimates, estimates over here. So the intercept, the intercept is the great mean being equal to 709 and it's statistically significant from zero. Now, however, you, um, if you run the mean command on the income data, you will um, see that the measures are not the same. So if you go ahead and put in mean and put in the um, income variable, you will see that the measures are in fact not the same. So in our um, in, with, in our planned contrast, the, the grand mean is equal to 709, while the mean for the income data is 722. Now this is because um, it is the mean of the mean, so to speak. It is the sum of the mean of Dutch tr traders, Swedish traders and Prussian traders divided by three, okay? So let's calculate this measure right over here by hand. So that would be mean. So we want to calculate the mean of the income value for um, Swedish traders. So you uh, put in square brackets and you want to filter by nationality and that nationality should be equal to Swedish. Okay, so you take that mean, then you go ahead and I just copy and paste that over here, plus the mean for the Prussian traders, plus the mean for the Dutch traders. So you take that, so you take the three means, and of course we got to divide it by three. So let me put some parentheses around this addition and divide it by three. There you go. You see, it's the exact same value. It's 709, just as over there. Now, what about the first contrasts, uh, contrast coefficient? Well, this is the difference between the group of Swedish and Prussian trading companies and the Dutch trading companies. However, this value is divided by the number of levels to account for the inflated error rate. So this value over here is corrected in order to account for the inflated error rate. So let's do that by hand as well. Okay, so let's, let's do the, uh, the exact same calculation by hand. So we would have the mean for the Swedish trading companies, the mean for the um, Prussian trading companies. And let's put that into par in parentheses and get the mean out of that value. So we, oops, sorry. So we divide by two. Okay, so that would be 555. So that is the mean value of the mean of the Swedish and Prussian trading companies. And let's take 555 and subtract the mean value of Dutch train companies. Now that would be minus 463. So this would be the actual difference, right? Uh, however, we average the average of Swedish and Prussian trading companies and subtract the average of uh, Dutch companies. So this would be the same, but um, what we would do Next is we would go ahead and account for the inflated error rate. So we would decide um, to divide this number by the levels in our, contra uh, in our contra contrast. Sorry. So we take this number over here, 463. We take this number over here and divide by the number of levels in our contrast. And we have three levels. We have Swedish, Prussian, and Dutch. So this would be... Three. 
And then you go ahead and you get the exact same number as in our summary output. You see 154, 154, and it's statistically significant. So this is um, the, the, dif the difference. And this is the regression coefficient. Now we can say that on average, Swedish and Prussian train companies make about 154 monetary units less than the Dutch train companies. Now we could do the same thing for contrast number two and um, we would end up with a statistically significant difference. Now I hope this wasn't too complicated for you, um, but this is basically all the magic behind doing plant contrasts.